I can't believe you put this much effort into a Portal 2 Hammer tutorial. You deserve more views. Keep up making videos. You deserve so many subscribers. Don't stop creating this stuff. It's absolutely gold. 35% of funny. 65% of tutorial. I love the video. Please continue. Dude, your videos are pretty great, dude. I could tell you are really putting effort into them. Keep it up, man. Your tutorials are so useful. I hope you will upload more Portal 2 tutorials. I really want more of these tutorials. I love them. Please make more. Maybe on signage? How to create exit. End of test. In the next video, maybe we could learn how to play some things like lasers, funnels, or gels in game. And maybe learn how to add in new entities or gameplay mechanics. Your explications with the world editor are very helpful and easy to understand. My sister and I were planning on making a You shouldn't take too long to upload those videos, man. I think I need to make amends with this series. In this video, you'll learn how to make this simple Portal 2 level complete with moving platforms, elevators, and the brown watery stuff that kills you. So without further ado, let's get right into it. <laughs> Now, here is the design we are going to be creating in Hammer. Just take one long look at it, so it gets lodged in your brain. You got it? You understand it yet? Cool. Okay, so I've just made the basic level with all the knowledge we've learnt up to this point, and now I'm going to teach you a few more things so that we can properly finish this level. The first thing we need to add is the goop. So in order to do this, we need to use a special texture called No Draw. No Draw tells Hammer to not render a certain face when compiling. This is useful because for the goop, we only really want the top face showing. Select the No Draw texture, then draw out a large brush that covers the entire room. Press enter. Now, to texture a single face in Hammer, we use the Toggle Texture Application tool. Type in Nature in the Texture Browser to find an image titled Toxic Slime 002A. All we need to do here is right click on the brush face we want to texture. While we're at it, let's texture certain walls of our level to something we can shoot portals on. Now currently our goop is not able to kill the player. Hammer is just going to treat this as water. So to solve this, we are going to use another texture called the trigger texture. Select it in the texture browser and create another brush covering our room that is slightly underneath our goop brush. At the moment, we want this trigger brush to be converted into an entity. To do this, select the trigger brush and press Ctrl T. By default, Hammer converts this to a funk underscore detail, which is not what we want. So change this to a trigger underscore hurt entity. Set the damage to 1000 and set the damage cap to 1000 as well. Finally, change the damage type to whatever you like. I'm going to change it to radiation. The next thing we need to do is create the doors. But by clipping a few walls and placing some prop test chamber doors will not do the trick, as there are some gaps that, if left unfixed, could lead to leaks, which Hammer does not like. In order to fix this, we need to add some archers. Now, archers are a pain in the ass to create in Hammer, which is why we are going to steal them. Click File, Open, Hammer should redirect you to the SDK underscore content folder, which is the folder you should save your maps in. You may also notice that Portal 2 already comes with some maps that you can mess around with. Select the first one, navigate to where there is a door, and copy the two arches that are located on either side of the door. By holding Ctrl and clicking, hitting Ctrl C on your keyboard, and hitting Ctrl V respectively on the map we are working on. Position them to each of the doors, and there we go, problem solved. Well, we have our doors, so we might as well add some elevators. Now, implementing elevators in Portal 2 might look difficult, but it's actually really easy. It's about as simple as creating cube droppers like we did in episode 3. First, create an entity. Change it to a funk underscore instance, call the fix-up name arrival underscore elevator, and paste this file directory into the VMF file name. Hit apply and position it wherever your entrance is. You may want to resize some brushes if there are any gaps. Next, duplicate the instance and move it back so it's completely covering the other instance. This will be our actual elevator shaft. Change the fix-up name of this instance to arrival underscore logic and paste this file directory into the VMF file name. 
perfect. You should see the elevator shaft completely line up with the elevator base. For the exit elevator, do the exact same thing except for the elevator base, change the fix up name and the VMF file name to these respectively. And for the shaft, change them to these. Finally, we also need to control these two elevators. So in order to do this, we need to create another funk instance, call the fix up name arrival underscore departure underscore trans and paste this directory into the VMF file name. Hit apply, you should see that we can change the different videos that will be displayed on the screens when we start the map. All these videos are located in this directory. Find one you like and paste the file path into the different fields. Now, Valve is a pain in the ass, so if we were to compile this map now, the videos will not show up. Unless we replace a certain script from this directory with a similar script from this directory. Why, Valve? Fix this, please. Hello, guys. Welcome to Stanley Fixes Stupid Valve Bugs .uk. Um, today I'm going to show you how to display the videos on elevators. Um, so basically, if you were, uh, so basically, what you need to do is go to your directory to where you install Portal 2. Um, so just go to Steam Apps, Common, Portal 2, and then go into Portal 2, Scripts, go into Vscripts, uh, and then click on Videos, and then you should see uh, videos, uh, video splitter dot nuts. So just copy that one, and then um, get, uh, go back to your Portal 2 directory, and then enter the Portal 2 underscore uh, DLC2 um, folder, and then go into scripts, and then go into vscripts, go into videos, and then just paste it in here. I've already done it anyway, and I've kept a copy of the original file just in case. Um, and that's what you need to do. Okay, that's the end of Stanley Fix's stupid valve bugs.co.uk. Next, I'm going to add some trigger brushes to open and close the entrance door. To do this, create another trigger brush, and on outputs, create one and select on start touch. Select the entrance door entity. If you haven't named your doors yet, I recommend you do. Then select open for the door's input. Duplicate the trigger brush to the other side, except change it so that the door closes instead of opens. Duplicate this trigger brush again and and place it behind the exit door so that when the player walks through the exit the door shuts. Now I'm going to add a moving platform that will activate when a button gets pressed. So to do this create a simple brush underneath the goop and once again we need to change this brush to an entity. Do this by once again pressing Control T and changing the entity type to funk underscore move linear. After doing this, we still need to change some settings in order for this moving platform to work properly. First, we want the platform to move upwards, so we change the move direction value to up. I'm also going to change the move distance to 96 because that is the number of units we want this platform to move. You can also change the sound the platform makes as well, which is what I'm going to do. And finally, name it Platform 01. Next, I'm going to create a sign that changes according to whether the exit door is open or closed. First, I'm going to create a frame to hold the sign by creating an entity, changing it to a prop underscore static, and changing the world model to the desired frame I want. Then I create a brush inside the frame and texture it with the image signage underscore door state. Also, something I'd probably want to fix is the way the texture faces, because sometimes it can be mirrored and that is not what we want. So click on the toggle texture application tool again, select the face you want to change with left click and check the box that says face. The last thing I'm going to do is create a texture toggle for this sign. We learned how to do this in episode 4, so I'm not going to explain much what's going on here. Just make sure you name both the sign and the texture toggle. Finally, we need to create the outputs for our button. One to open the door, one to change the indicator sign, and one to activate the platform. Also, vice versa for when the button is not pressed. Finally, let's compile our map and see the results. Right, okay, our elevator is properly working, as well as our chosen video that we wanted to display. By default, we also get a portal gun. Let's open the door and, oh, it's very dark. To fix this, open the console and type in matte underscore Fulbright 1. You should know about this command by now because we learnt about it in episode 3. This is something we'll fix in the next episode, but for now, let's test that everything works in our map. Perfect. Now, in the next tutorial, we are going to learn about lighting and how we can make our map look actually good. But remember, 
This level we just made is extremely basic. If you want to add things like lasers or cube droppers or any other advanced puzzle mechanic, you can go ahead and do that. Nothing stopping you. You already have the resources to help you. Experimenting and messing about is kind of the best way to learn these things, so if I'm going to have to give any advice, this would be it. You can also check out the Valve Developer community, as there are tons of resources to help you out with stuff I haven't already covered. But in the meantime, thank you for watching. Thank you.